We recently received some more news about the upcoming flight for the MCC, talking about a new MCC store. What kind of content is going to be in that store, and is it going to be free? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe to the channel guys. So let's get right into the content here. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update going on with the MCC, but this is not exactly a little update. This is actually a rather substantial weekly update that we received here, giving us some more details of what to expect for the upcoming flight on February 18th. As well we, as we got another screenshot of the new map coming in for Halo 3 that's coming from Halo Online. So let's dive right into this development update. Just so that we're all on the same page here, yes, Thursday, February 18th is going to be the flight date currently right now for the next MCC flight, so go make sure you're signed up for the Halo Insider program. I'll leave a link in the description down below. What's going to be in this flight? It's going to be the custom game browser, season 6 content, a new map for Halo 3 from Halo Online, which we'll look at later in this video, FOV slider support for all Xbox consoles. FOV slider will no longer be locked when Xbox Series X and S devices are set to 120 hertz, double keybinds, mouse and keyboard support for consoles, advanced audio options, as well as view model customization options. Again, right here, if you want to be taking part of this flight, make sure that your profile is up to date. They have a link right here for you to sign up here. If you haven't signed up, if you updated your PC hardware or got a new Xbox since the last flight you've been a part of, make sure you update your file. Within 343, you can have a chance to get a very accurate grouping of players that they need for this flight right here. Also keep in mind that throughout the month of February, you get the Black History Month nameplate right here. Also the Valentine's Day nameplate from February 11th to the 15th, if you just kind of log into the MCC between these dates. They also take note that this nameplate is not given automatically, so give the 343 team a couple of weeks to get through it. You should expect to see it on February 26th for this this lovely heart nameplate if you haven't earned it already. Now let's get into the juicy, juicy details here. Talking about design diaries as they're talking about here, a store coming in to the MCC. As you guys probably have recognized from playing the MCC for the last few seasons or so, that there are seasonal challenges that are tied with content that are only available for that season. Once that season goes away, well, that content's kind of not available for you anymore. Many camos were kind of not available anymore. And maybe people who are not able to earn the Because You Beg challenge for the Mr. Chief helmet. Well, it seems like there's going to be an alternative way for you to earn your content. That's going to be a seasonal currency store that's going to be happening for the MCC. And they do want to stress that this store is going to be 100% free. The currency to use to buy items in the store are going to be seasonal points, the same seasonal points that you utilize to unlock items in a season pass. If you unlock extra things or have extra seasonal points after a season's over, as more reason for you to keep using those seasonal points. Because right now, it seems like with the MCC is once you just want to grind through a season and once you're done, you're kind of like, well, I guess I completed everything for this season. Well, it looks like they're trying to give you some additional options and give players ability to earn content they were not able to because of either limitations on player bases or limitations on their playing abilities or just general limitations on playtime as well. They didn't hear specifically about this development update right here saying we are introducing a seasonal currency store and there's no real money involved. Instead, the currency is seasonal points, which players will still continue to earn. Now, instead of using season points solely to unlock items in the season pass, there will be opportunities to spend these points on prior seasonal challenge content you may have previously missed, as well as all the new items that debut in the seasonal currency store. Not only is there going to be content you might have missed out for the previous seasons, but it seems like they're going to be adding in new stuff as well. And it seems like there's going to be two different kind of cadences when it comes to the content, how that, that's going to be rotating out weekly and seasonal as well. How often will items rotate in and out of these when it comes to stores? Some items will rotate each week while others will be available for the duration of a season. Items may return 
to the rotation in future seasons. Will there ever be new or unique items that are showcased within these new options? Right here saying some items will debut in the season currency store. They may end up being reintroduced through seasonal challenges or the seasonal store at a later date. So it's interesting to see here that they're not only going to be just rehashing content, but it's actually going to be bringing in some new content as well. It'd be kind of interesting to see how they actually go about doing that because unless they have plans for just massive seasons of like 100 tiers for the next four seasons from season six to season 10, it'd be really interesting to see what kind of content goes specifically in the store options, not just your typical seasonal pass. And trust me, once that flight comes around, I'll definitely make content on it. It sounds like the store though will be coming in as a mid flight patch, as they mentioned right here specifically. Asking what you're saying, I have to ask, is this going to be available in the flight for players to preview? They stated saying, we're currently working to make it available in the flight. Our current goal is for a flight patch, which will come about a week or so after the flight kicks off. Now, I'm sure many of you are wondering when they expect this store to be added into the MCC. They state right here, stating that it be, should be coming around here, available with season six update. And just for additional confirmation here, saying, will you be able to use previous season points? And they say, yes, you know, your season points don't expire. And so you can, if you have season points, you can utilize them in the store. Personally, I think this is a great opportunity for people who may have not been able to earn some of the content in previous seasons. Like I didn't earn that rank 25 in Halo 3's uh, Recon Slayer uh, to get on that Arctic camo for the sniper. So that'd be really awesome to get a chance to do that. Or I didn't get a chance to earn any of the ranks for season four when it comes to the Halo 4 ranks either for those weapon skins. Uh, though I just really hope that at least they wait like one season after the previous one to implement some of this stuff. So then the people who worked hard to earn these kind of bits of customization don't feel like it was just given out to people. That's kind of an issue that we had with Halo 5 where you had the Helio Skrill armor set that where you had to play all the Halo games on Legendary on the MCC and then you earn the Helio Skrill within Halo 5. So it gave a really you know, personal meaning to that armor set. Now it looks like they're kind of doing the same thing here with MCC, though you still have to grind out for your options here, though you have to earn it with season points, so you still have to play the game a lot. Uh, I just hope that these items may be worth a, you know, a hefty amount just so then people have to grind their way to kind of earning these things within a season or something like that. And I would like to see them wait one full season before implementing previous season content. So for example, we we're talking about like if season six input gets input here that with a store that it'll be some content that was from like season two or season three or something like that, that may have been con you know challenge log that not people didn't get a chance to unlock. I would not like to see stuff from like season five get implemented into the season six store. Because a big thing about customization is about exclusivity and being able to kind of flash your dedication to the game and just showcasing like, I have this, how cool am I kind of thing. You know, a little bit kind of a you know, flex on people, which is kind of a fun part about customization when it comes to Halo. And right now in the MCC, they're doing actually a really great job of that, especially with like the Mr. Chief helmet and also with the uh, GRD helmet that we have as well, which is the 100th option within the Season 5 pass. But with Season 6 store, I like to see anything from Season 3 and earlier be involved with this. And then with like Season 7, then you can do Season 5 kind of thing. Just don't do it right after each other when it comes to the store because it just kind of invalidates the reason why to grind out some of these challenges like we have right now with Season 5 with the green battle rifle skin where you have to win 25 competitive games. That's not an easy task. It's a bit more of a grind challenge more than a actual test of skill, but it's just, you know, it's hard to earn that. It takes a lot of time. You win, you'll probably take you at least 50 matches to do it. And so I would hate to see something like that be implemented into the Season 6 store because you really get no time to kind of enjoy the exclusivity of it. And just for fun here, I have some additional content about a new screenshot that we have for the upcoming map coming from Halo Online. I'm assuming this map is gonna be called Waterfall as that's what the image is called when I downloaded it. And when I did some research on Halopedia, it's actually a cut content map that was referred to as Waterfall for Halo Online. You can see right here, this is the initial screenshot right here. Looks pretty awesome. Looks kind of like a, maybe like a BTB map of some sorts. Uh, definitely a different kind of lighting. We actually got a new angle as well, which I'm assuming is kind of coming from this angle right here as it's covered by ice and it's a lot darker with the new image that we just got a chance to see. And the, recently the Halo Twitter posted up this image right here of the angle of this new map. I'm assuming this is definitely gonna, pretty sure it's gonna be like a BTB map as how large this one is, how many different angles there are to it as well. And it's gonna be kind of interesting to see exactly how this map plays out. I will 100% will be making a map breakdown 
on this map as soon as it becomes available in the flight for you guys to come check out as well to so get to know some angles, get to know the weapon spawns before you jump in and slay the noobs on Waterfall. So if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. If you've been out of the loop for the Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. We did recently find out you can skyjack a Banshee with the grapple shot in Halo Infinite, so I highly suggest you check out that video. So thank you so much for watching, greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace out.